Welcome to 3 Minutes Fix. In this video, we will see how to install Do Movie Streaming App version 2.4.0 without error. This video has been split into two parts. First part is released today, covering only admin panel side. Android part I try to upload soon. After purchasing app from Coda Canyon, you will get a zip file like this. Now, extract the file to the desired location. After that, you will see all the necessary files and the documentation. Click the doc to read more if you get stuck anywhere. Next file is remote config. We will see about this soon. Now open the admin panel folder and copy its location. Now open your panel file manager and upload the zip file to it. By default, hosting would have changed your PHP version to 8.2 in case you're using HostGator service. It's recommended to use PHP 7.4 version to have uninterrupted installations. So change that by following the instructions. Now, refresh the page to see the changes. I recommend you to use database wizard provided by your hosting to create database to avoid connection errors. In the zip file, you will get the license code if you have purchased from Coda Canyon. Open and copy paste the license to installation wizard. Panel will download additional files in background. It mostly take one to two minutes depending on your hosting and internet speed. After login, you might see a update window to update dPanel to latest version. Kindly, press the update button and proceed in updating your panel. Note down if you face any issue in updating your panel except 404 error. Change your PHP version to 7.4 and try to update it. If you face 404 error, then it's recommend to check hosting whether they support the extensions that are recommended by Do application. Now I try to add four to five movies from Team B to demonstrate new feature in Do. Oops. While adding the movie, I got trending do panel issue. That is Google think that this site is harmful. But don't worry, I tell you the solution in this video itself. I have added four movies. I also added download link and movie link to the panel. Now we will enable auto movie import option. Go to the settings menu and choose Android submenu. Here, choose the default stream option. Now, enable it. Here, you have options to make link premium or free after pressing save button 
your panel will start to have movie links. But while creating this video, default stream feature was not worked. I added this section in the video to demonstrate how to turn on default stream. Now let's see how to solve the red danger error by Google. Remember, you need to add a snippet of meta tag to following location. I have mentioned on the screen. First will be login.php, next is home.php, and finally inside install folder index.php. I have also added snippet to the description. In same way, paste the code in other locations and don't think error will go immediately. It will take some time for index to delete from Google. We will see that in Search Console section in detail. Now go to the Safe Browsing website. I have added a link to the description of this video. Here enter the URL. For us when we go to Add Movies page, the error appears. So copy that link and paste it into this page. Now shortly explain the reason, as this is a false positive error, so kindly remove the warning from my site. Google will certainly accept the request and remove the warning. The good news is in an upcoming release. You don't have to add these things because the developer has planned to recode the panel. Next is adding remote config file. For this, you need to create a project and add package name to your project. In case you're new, follow my steps carefully. On pressing Create New Project button, you will get similar progress bar to build your project directly in Google Console. Once it end, choose the Android symbol and follow my instructions. First, you have to enter your package name. Remember to choose your package name beforehand. For me, I choose com.tutorials.app as the project name. Now download your JSON file and it will come in handy later. Now, we will add our remote config template to the Firebase dashboard. Before that, I recommend you to open Firebase config file in a notepad and add your server address and the API key to it manually. Reason is it will be easy for you add and press publish in one click. Now, press the Upload Template button and upload your file. Don't forget to save your changes and press Publish button. From next time onwards, you can use this setting to configure the app remotely. Last thing we are going to do in Firebase is getting your Firebase key for the one signal notification. In your project, enable the cloud messaging settings. It's slightly change in latest version of Firebase. Next, we will add this key to WinSignal dashboard. In OneSignal dashboard, when you log in, if you face blank screen error, kindly turn off your ad blocker. Create a new project if not exist and follow my steps carefully. Now, copy this app ID and paste it to your admin panel. And from last update, 
you don't have to add the app ID to Android Studio as it will be seeded from panel itself. We have fully configured our admin panel side. In next session, we will see how to configure our Do Android app.